guys so i wanted to make a quick video about love since it's the greatest of all the virtues and extremely important and because i learned really crazy stuff about it um a few days ago or maybe last week but anyway i mean my first video i was talking about how god is love and god is three comprised of three persons who love each other unconditionally and in the most perfect way so of course god is love but of uh, love as a more general sense um as it applies to us so love is willing the good of the other good of the other as the other and how i would explain it is it's basically desiring the good of someone else without trying to change them or like desiring it for the sake of yourself you, you're desiring it or desiring it for them you want what's best for them and in sa self-sacrificial love you sacrifice your own interest interests for that person so i'm just i'm just 19 so i don't i don't and probably will never understand love to its full, fullest extent at least in this life but maybe like when i have a family and kids and stuff i'll probably get a little bit a little bit closer um and may, yeah and maybe in heaven i'll understand what true love is and once i get to know god and stuff but throughout my life there have been a lot of people that I thought I loved and looking back I realized that I didn't like I either um, I loved them I loved them for what they could do for me and provide for me or I just wanted to change them I mean yeah it was usually a combination of the two but it wasn't true love because I didn't love them I, I didn't want what's best for them for the sake of what's best for them basically and I think willing the good of another person is something we can all relate to. Like, I think all of us have people we love in our lives. And it's the easier part to understand. But the harder part to understand is the as the other part. Like, loving someone, wanting the best for them, for their sake and not for how it could help us, you know? Like, a lot of the time, when we think we love someone, we maybe we love the idea of them. Or we want to change them or we love what they can provide for us but we don't actually love the person so the best way i can explain this um is by talking about god <laughs> okay so you are being loved into existence at every moment so something you should get into your head not as like not as like your trash kind of thing but god doesn't need you uh, God is perfection and, and completion and everything. God doesn't need anybody else. Like, <laughs> yeah, God doesn't need anyone. God doesn't need anything. God doesn't need you in particular. He doesn't need humans in general. He doesn't need anything that he's created. He's, he's perfection. The only reason we exist, the only reason anything exi exists is because of love. God is loving you into existence at every moment love is the only reason you're you exist and and as, as an extension of that god doesn't really need you to be a good person and don't take this the wrong way please don't take this the wrong way but so god doesn't need you to follow his commandments or any of any of that and i'm saying need not want of course god wants us to follow his commandments but the reason he wants us to follow his commandments and be good is not for his sake but for ours right <laughs> because me being a good person it doesn't really do that much for god it doesn't really make god more complete or anything it just he just wants me and us to be good for us to be good because it's bad to be evil and of course he gives us the free will to choose between good and evil but i already talked about freedom in my other video how choosing evil is an, is an abuse of freedom because God gives us our freedom freely, <laughs> freely. But of course, God wants us to choose the good. But it's not for anything that we could do for God. Of course, like God, does, God doesn't need us. God wants us. God wants to have a relationship with us and each and every one of us. And it's something we can freely choose or reject. And yeah, God just wants us to be good for the sake of us being good, not for anything that He could gain from it. Because what could you really, what could you really give to God? Like just, just think about who God is. God is everything. God is existence itself and love. Like you can't really do anything that 
do anything for God. God doesn't need you. But of course, God wants you to be good. He wants to be in relationship with you because of how much he loves you. And of course, being virtuous people also has the, the side effect of maybe leading other people to be good, leading other people to Christ. But that's not the reason. I mean, yeah, that's not the reason God wants us to be good. I mean, it's like a happy side effect, like, I'm good. And then people around me are like, wow, he's so good. And then they're good. And then suddenly everyone starts going to church on Sundays and has a perfect relationship with Jesus Christ. Well, it doesn't really work like that. I wish it did. That'd be pretty sweet, but, but it doesn't. So, yeah, God wants a relationship with all of us. And we have the freedom to accept him or to reject him. But you have to remember that God doesn't need you. You don't, you don't complete God. There's nothing you can do that like really benefits God, really. But of course God wants you to be good for your sake. And he doesn't want to change you to change you. He just wants you to be the best version of yourself. And he is constantly loving you into existence. And the only reason you exist is because God loves you. And I don't want this video to be like, yeah, we don't, God doesn't need us to be good, so we might as well just take advantage of our freedom and take advantage of his mercy and just be like evil people living for pleasure and stuff. That's that's not the point of this video, but the point of this video is just talk, talk about how great God is and how great love is as the greatest of all the virtues. Um, so I hope this video was fun. I think I just repeated the same thing over and over, but maybe you learned something and maybe you feel better about yourself and about who you are and you have a better outlook on life. And also... Yeah, this is kind of fitting. So when you pray, you don't change God at all. God doesn't change. When you pray, it's you who changes. And that's really something really weird to wrap your mind around. But it's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. I thought that fit. So I hope this was a fun video. And as always, if you want to talk about anything, feel free to contact me. I have my stuff somewhere. I mean, I, I guess if you're this far into my videos, um, you already know me or something. You already know me or you've been watching for a while, but anyway, have a good day.